Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. I'm here with Ken Eisen. He is the program director for the Maine International Film Festival, which kicks off tonight. Ken, thank you for joining us. Pleasure to be here, Emma. So um, this is a 10-day long festival, and it kicks off tonight. What's tonight looking like? Well, tonight the opening film is called Hangdog. It's uh, a Maine-made film. It's one of seven Maine-made features, and uh, I think we've got 16 Maine-made shorts. So it's actually, I think, the largest representation from Maine that we've ever had. We're pretty excited about it, and pretty excited about tonight's film, Hangdog, which is uh, a very funny, shaggy dog uh, comedy about a guy who loses his girlfriend's daughter and figures he's lost his girlfriend until he gets the dog back. Oh. It's kind of a shaggy dog story, and he's kind of the shaggy dog. That's great. Comic relief for the opening night. It is. It's lots of fun, and it's very, it's very Maine. It's very Portland. Okay. But uh, it's very Portland in a, in a good way. Will the filmmakers be there? Yes, they will. Cool. Yeah. Is that the case for a lot of these main made films? Yes. I think virtually every one of them. I think every one of them, yeah. Wow. And we've got filmmakers, uh, not just the main filmmakers, but filmmakers from a world, around the world. Um, our guest of honor this year, our Midlife Achievement Award winner, is Ildiko Anyeti, one of the foremost directors in the world. She's from wow. Hungary. She had a film nominated for an Academy Award a couple of years ago called On Body and Soul, a wonderful, wonderful film. And she was a guest at the festival in our second festival in 1999. Wow. So she's returning, and this is, um, I think, the first uh, such career achievement award that she's ever gotten. So it's a thrill. We gave her her first retrospective the first time. But we have films from France, Canada, uh, Argentina, uh, all around the world, really, in lots of ways. It is the Maine International Film Festival. Wow. So not only is it important in Maine, but it's important on an international scale. Well, I think it is at this point. We've been around for a long time. We do have a lot of recognition. We have uh, all of the new films that we have, and there's about 30 new features, are premieres of one sort or another. Uh, world premieres, U.S. premieres, international premieres, Eastern U.S., New England, and Maine premieres. Keyword, premiere. premiere. Yeah. Yeah. So audiences get to see for the first time these films and judge for themselves and come prejudged. Yeah. You know? So that's nice. So I think another cool aspect of it this year, how many years has it been going? This is year number 26. 26, awesome. But Almost to 30. Yeah. New York. Um, yeah. But so what's important about this year too is you guys have moved since last year, right? We have. It's a big change. We were in Railroad Square Cinema, but also in the Waterville, Waterville. Opera House. In Waterville, yep. right? Uh, but also in the Waterville Opera House downtown. We remain in the Opera House, but the Opera House is now directly physically connected to our new home, the Maine Film Center, which is right on Main Street, it's connected by a walkway to the Opera House, so patrons can go from one film to the other by taking a few steps. And uh, it's all right in downtown Waterville, where there's access to restaurants, um, bars, shopping, all kinds of other things. So it's a great place to be. Railroad Square was a, a, about a quarter of a mile away, but it's enough right. that you need it to drive, maybe a half mile. Right. So it makes yeah. a little bit of a difference. Perfect for dinner and a movie. Yeah, yeah. and the new uh, theaters are state-of-the-art, beautiful theaters in the Pulse Shop Center in downtown Waterville. Yeah, and from everything I've heard, too, this is a great symbiotic relationship for the whole town of Waterville. I think it is. Yeah. I think it, it works great for the town. It works great for us, and uh, I, I think everybody's been very excited, and uh, I think the festival has been waiting to have this kind of a home. So. Yeah. I think it'll be a natural fit. And 10 days, it needs a good home if it's going to be that long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're all going to basically live there. So yeah. <laughs> it fantastic. better be home. Yeah. Okay, so where can people learn more? Well, the easy thing is to go to miff.org, mm -hmm. M I F F for Maine International Film Festival dot org. Cool. And that's that's the quick fix. You can get the whole schedule. You can buy tickets online. Uh, tickets are available to individual shows, and you can also buy passes to the whole thing or any part thereof. Lovely. So if you want to just go to one, maybe you can just go to one show Absolutely. or a couple days. It all works. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely true, well, Emma. I think that's all you can say. Ken, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll send it over to Devin Biggs for our full weather forecast.